So hi guys, I'm Lou and welcome to my YouTube channel. And for today's video guys, we're talking about this beautiful anthurium crystallinum plant that I have here. We're talking about light requirements, watering, propagation, and how to take care of this beautiful plants. And also guys, I'm going to um, repot this in this bigger pot. So without further ado, let's get started. And guys, before I go on to the main topic, if you're looking for a funeral burling arrangement, Simpets flower, garden set, a spray flower arrangement, inaugural flowers, or flowera for all occasions, fear not because a well stylish flower is on the move. They offer wrath to Piari funeral full set flowers arrangements, car set up, surprise gift, bouquet, and many more. And for inquiries, and if you're fond of it, don't hesitate to get a hold of this number. And I'll put the link on the description down below so that you can check that out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, the Anthurium crystallinum is a species of the flowering plant in the family Arrigate, native to rainforest margins in Central and South America, from Panama to Peru. And growing around 90 cm tall and wide, the Anthurium crystallinum is an epiphytic evergreen perennial known for its dark green, velvety textured, and heart-shaped leaves. And somewhat, it is a resembles to a smaller version of an Anthurium magnifico. And guys, while explaining everything, I'm going to repot this um, Anthurium crystallinum in this larger pot. So let's go. So guys, the Anthurium crystallinum is a hard to come by Anthurium species. Prized for its large, heart-shaped, deep green foliage, which has a velvety texture and its striking pale green or silvery white venation. Commonly called crystal anthurium, the impressive leaves of this species can grow to over 18 inches in length. The crystal anthurium prefers bright, indirect light, consistently moist soil, and high humidity. And guys, the crystal anthurium can be a somewhat high maintenance. And here are the main care requirements for growing a crystal anthurium.
Light is one of the key conditions to help your crystal anthurium thrive is getting it right with light. These plants are love of bright and direct light. This shouldn't come as a surprise when in their native environment. They are sitting under a dappled rainforest canopy. And too much direct sunlight will damage your plants, show stopping the sensitive veined foliage. And too little means you won't get to appreciate the size and patterns that you would expect. An east facing window is typically a top spot. If you only have a south facing position, all you have to do is to add curtain to filter some of the light. You could invest in grow lights in their north-facing rooms to help your plants thrive. When it comes to soil requirements, looking for best soil is crucial. Don't stick your crystal anthurium in any old random potting soil. You find somewhere else. This plant needs an airy and well-draining mix to flourish. You can try mixing up a blend of two parts potting soil with one part of perlite and the other part is patmos. This helps promote consistent moisture and expose the roots to enough oxygen while minimizing the chance of water logging. And if you don't want your own mix, look for high quality orchid soil and add a little gravel or perlite. While your crystal anthurium appreciates consistent moisture, that doesn't mean dousing it with loads of water. Root rot is a common cause of demise due to overwatering and soggy soil. All you have to do is wait the top couple of inches of potting mix dries out before watering again. You can stick your finger into the soil to check rather than eliminating dryness by sight or on a strict schedule. It shouldn't be surprising that this plant does best in warm, humid environments given its tropical native. Humidity levels need to be above 50%, but the most healthy and impressive foliage is likely when levels are above 70%. Grouping similar plants together and adding a tray filled with pebbles and water under the plant can also help. Sometimes, you might need to invest in humidifier to reach the desired levels. While the anterior crystallinum does best in temperatures between 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, it can still survive in rooms that are as mild as 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Anterior crystallinum isn't a heavy feeder. Nourishing during the spring and summer growing months helps promote lush, large, healthy foliage, and feeding with an organic supplement such as a natural fish emulsion or a half-diluted balanced houseplant fertilizer. Monthly should work well. Pruning is not necessary for crystal anthuriums. However, in low humidity environments, you may find that your leaves become crispy and brown around the edges. If that's the case, it's safe to prune the leaves away. However, it's critical that low humidity be addressed. As always, we'll continue to look that this way until the issue is resolved.
If you can avoid overwatering and overly humid conditions, your crystal anthuriums will hopefully stay best and disease-free. However, it's worth watching for common pests such as spider mites, aphids, and mealybugs. If you see signs of these bugs, get out the insecticidal soap or neem oil. And that's all for today's guys. I hope you learned a little and if you like this video, like, subscribe, feel free to comment down below if you want answers, suggestions, or opinions regarding on my current video. And that's all for today. I hope all is well with you and your family. And good luck in the garden. I'll catch you next time.